This preacher voice, yes, sir, son, let me tell you something about me. I've been preaching the gospel for over 50 years. I don't use language like that. I don't even remember the words I used to use before I came to the law. <laughs> that little boy looked at him, he said, you keep pulling on that cord, they'll come back to you. <laughs> comes from a Latin word, insanos, meaning not to be whole. And so he realizes there's a chasm in him, and the devil is taking up residence. And so he, the Lord says, come out of that man, thou unclean spirit. When I said, come on, I did a whole series on this particular text called the Christology of the Demons. All of us wrestle with demons. And so the Lord dealt with the man's demons. He said, come out of him. And those devils came out, ran into some pigs, ran over the hill, went down into the Sea of Galilee, and died a violent death. Now watch our man now. After the Lord has given him a second chance, the Bible says he is sinning. Yes, sir. He's clothed. Oh, yeah. Just like us this morning. All of us, we're sinning. Yeah. We're clothed. I don't know about you, but I'm in my right mind. In my right mind. And listen to him talk. Now, this is where you need to fit in. He said, Master, let me go with you. You remember that? And what did the Lord say to him? He said to him, no, 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 no. You got too good a story. He said, I, I'll go up and down the villages and preach. What I want you to do, go back to those who saw you in your worst condition and tell them that the Lord has done something for you. And I'm going to drop this this morning, church. If you are a recipient of God's second chance and you don't know what number you own now, you ought to spend your life bringing glory to the name of God by telling folks what the Lord has done for you. We brag about everything else but the Lord. I love bragging on Jesus. How did I get here? Somebody said, you flew in? Yeah, I flew, but it was by the grace of God. I got on that plane and then the doors were closed. I don't know if it was two monkeys up there flying the plane or it was a I know that God allowed that plane to take off at night, fly by a storm at night, land in Indianapolis safely now, not skid off the runway, pull up to the gate. I stepped off with it. Met my luggage. I said, I met my luggage. That's a blessing in the Got in that rental car. Yes. Found my way to the hotel. Yes. Found the room in the sign. Yes. Opened the door, went inside. Guess who was in there? Oh, God. <laughs> See, now you trying to go somewhere else. God. Yes. How did he know what room I was in? He's omniscient. Yes. He's omnipotent. Yes. He's omnipresent. Yes. He's in every place. He knows everything. He got all power. Yes. I'm his servant. He was there. Made everything all right. I laid down. He watched over me all night. Even if he had to leave, he left angels to watch over me all night. Yes, sir. Somebody said, I don't believe in all that well. That's you. I believe in it. I believe the Lord is taking care of what belongs to him. Isn't that all right? So, tell somebody what the Lord has done. Give me, give me just about 10 more minutes. Right, let's, let's go over. Let's go over. Let's go so many places I went to. Let's, let's go. We went to the tomb of Lazarus. Tomb of Lazarus. Tomb of Lazarus messed me up. Tomb of Lazarus is on the incline going up a hill. And when you get about halfway up, there's a big hole in the rock there. And uh, when I got up there, the rock was rolled to the side. There's a hole there. And you know, Brother Hubbard, how we always preach Jesus raised Lazarus from the dead. So I wanted to know what was Lazarus. Because the, the text doesn't say he went in the tomb. He, he stood outside and spoke into the tomb. Y'all remember? Go back and read it. He said, Lazarus, come forward. Y'all remember that? So I, I got up there and I said, there's a guy standing there. I said, 
I said, is this the tomb of Lazarus? He said, well, there are a lot of people buried here, but they did bury Lazarus here. I said, where? He said, down off in there. I looked at him. I said, down off in there. <laughs> Y'all laughing. Right? That ain't funny. <laughs> I'm in the Middle East. Terrorists been fighting. Go back to Ishmael and Isaac. They've been fighting just that long. We go back to Ishmael and Isaac. Hey, you don't know when something's going to break out. And I'm about to go down off in there. So I, I, I said to the man, I said, listen, there, oh, there's some more guys down there. Somebody can help me. He said, oh, yeah, this guy's down there. They can help you. And so hey, I, just a young cat from Texas. I, I, looked, I looked in. I said, hey, hey. <laughs> I didn't see anybody. It was dark. And I wanted I got to say something, you know? And so I heard a voice there. I said, yeah, what else? I said, did the Barry Lazarus down there? He said, yeah, come on, I'll show you. So I went in. You Google it when you get back to the room. I, I, I went in, and I counted the steps, Brother Hubbard, 24 steps, all the way down to where this guy was standing. I said, all right, man, hurry up, hurry up. Show me. Where they buried up? <laughs> he said, he wasn't buried up here. They buried some other dead folk up here. He was buried around the corner down there. I turned the corner. I turned the corner. But I looked back to make sure they hadn't rolled that stone down. I turned the corner. And I hollered again. I hollered and said, hey, hey. And, and I could see the guy now. And he said, yeah, what is I said, did Barry Lambs in that He said, yeah, come on, sure. So I went down there. I went down there, turned the corner, counted a few more steps. Got to where this guy went. I said, hurry, man. So where did Barry Lambs? He said, he wasn't buried over here. He was buried up in that hole. I said, up in the hole. So a little cat like me, I got down on all four. I backed up in that hole, and that guy could look through the hole in that rock. And he looked, he said, there right down that slab Ooh. is where they buried Lazarus. I'm messed up now. I'm not even fearful anymore. I'm not even afraid because now it's shouting time now. Because see, the Lord, if you remember the text said, he was outside the tomb. He spoke into the tomb. He didn't have to say it loud. All he did was say, Lazarus, come forth. His voice went into that hole. Went down 24 steps. That went on the wall. That folk on both sides. Went on around the corner by passing that folk. Went on down looking for Lazarus. I said he's looking for Lazarus. Y'all missing this. He's looking for Lazarus. Went on down with the eye in the hole. Found when Lazarus been dead for four days. Rick and Mortis is set in, he's stiff, but now God said, get up. Yeah. So now Lazarus has got to get on his knees and limber up a little bit and crawl through that hole. Yeah. I wish I had some help with yeah. 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 that. Stay with me now, stay with me. 
He said, Thou art the Christ, the Son of the living God. I said, All right. Jesus said to him, Flesh and blood, I reveal this unto you, but my Father which is in heaven. And I asked him then, like I'm asking you, when he said, My Father, how many fathers is he talking about? One. 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 They said, What? I said, Put your finger up in the air. They held it up like that. I said, Hold it right there. I said, Bless the Lord, thou Simon, our Jonah, from flesh and blood, and I reveal this unto you, but my Father which is in heaven. And I say unto thee that thou art Peter, and upon this rock I will build my church. And I said to them, I said, now, he just said, my father, y'all said, he's talking about what now? He said, my church. How many churches is he talking about? How many? One. Yeah, are y'all sure? Because that's what I'm going to be preaching on this week. The Lord has but one house. And we're going to go all the way back to the prophets and see that in prophecy, God was going to send Christ. He would have his own house. And he would be over that house and have authority in the house and love the house. And the house would be his body. The house would be his house. The house would be his kingdom. The house would be his bride. And he would come back from the house. Yeah. I'm here to teach you this week that if you want to be saved, yes, sir. sound doctrine will tell you that salvation is in Christ and his house. Yes, in his body. Yes, Luke, uh,